Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing, um, well actually this week, I'm going to be doing another Amazon monthly haul. I've done one the last two months and I wasn't going to do one for the month of April just because I haven't bought that many things that I thought were interesting. Um, but then I did find a few things that I did think were interesting. So it's definitely not as big as last month. Last month I had, I think, over 25 items that I shared just that month. But um, I think what I'm sharing in this video is still interesting. So I did want to did want to show you guys. So we are going on vacation. Actually, as I'm filming this, it will be next weekend. By the time you see it, I think we'll already be back. But I did need to get a few things for that. And I thought they were pretty good deals. So I needed some travel bottles. And I do have a couple from Dollar Tree that are like more for like eye makeup remover and toner and things like that. I needed some bigger ones that were for shampoo and face wash and stuff. And so I found this kit on Amazon. I like that it came in this little bag too, but it's got four of the, I think they're three ounce bottles. It also came with a couple toothbrush head covers, which I think I already have, but it never hurts to have more. And then a couple of these like little jars. Um, there's even a little spray bottle in there. Um, I don't know what I would use that for. Mainly I got it for the big bottles. So uh, I was excited to get that, and I even like that the little bag it comes in can definitely be used. And then um, they're BPA-free. They say leak-free. We will find out. Um, but I got those for our trip. I also got these for our trip, but I realized they'll actually be really useful at home because I have quite a few supplements that I take every single day, and we typically eat lunch in the living room. Um, and... I have to bring like three pill bottles with me every time we go to eat. So this came as a two pack, so it will be useful for vacation. But I think if I keep it stocked, one of them stocked at home, it will also be useful to bring this instead of having to bring three bottles into the living room every time we eat. So it's got lots of compartments. They're pretty hard to open, which can be kind of annoying, I would think, but it would also be a good thing that maybe they won't be popping open all over the place. It came with a two pack and I like this one, this, kind in particular because it has pill sections on both sides a lot of the ones you find have like a solid top and then just the pill compartments on the bottom but i like that this has top and bottom and they seem pretty sturdy so they came in a pack of two and then also for vacation i already have some packing cubes um, that i did a sponsor video quite a few years ago and those things have been really valuable but i didn't have any for anybody else and i always thought well i don't really need them you know i have gotten by on every other trip without them but this was such a good deal and i do know how handy they are i i went ahead and picked these up i think all of these were on sale for 15 dollars. i think they're regular 20 and i think as you get one two one two three four five six so six bags for 20 bucks they look like they're pretty good quality they have a little bit of this like vented meshing so that if you have things in there that are damp or maybe a little smelly um it will help with airflow and then this part up here is plastic and wipeable this is the biggest one there's a handle on all of them so i don't know if i'm going to use all of these on one person or maybe split them up between the girls i haven't decided yet but i thought that was a really good price i wanted to go ahead and snatch that up Sticking in that same color family, not intentionally, um, I mentioned in my, I think it was my April goals video that I am working through reading the Bible, never read the entire Bible start to finish before. And even though I'm not giving myself a time limit and saying like, I'm going to read it in one year, I am trying to read it and be consistent with it. And so I've been doing it at, at night when I go to bed, that's the easiest time for me to find some quiet time, but I didn't have, I didn't want to leave a lamp on because then I have to get back up to turn it off. So I wanted a book light and it is a really nice book light. You have to charge it. There's no batteries in it, but you've got three different light levels. So there's a low, um, a medium and a high. And so far I've used it every night. I've only charged it once and it's still going strong. It's got like the flexible neck and you can grip it on your book. So even for kids, I think it's a great reading, reading light. Um, but it's nice because it doesn't disturb my husband. I did get him one too because he's also reading through the Bible, but when he's not reading it, you know, the other person's light does not bother, you know, it's not so bright that it bothers the other person's. I picked this book up. It's The Happy Mom Mindset, Seven Ways to Skip the Mom Trap so you can so you can think, feel, and be happy. I'm already happy. I'm a happy mom, but, you know, I think it always helps to work on your mindset, even if you're not a mom, just kind of being positive and reworking maybe some traps that you fall into about um, dissatisfaction or overwhelm, you know, especially the things that moms deal with, I think. Um, so I'm just starting this. I haven't gotten very far. I am only 29 pages in, but so far I like where it's headed. I'm really into 
working on changing your mindset in all aspects of your life. Um, and so that's why I was attracted to this book and picked it up in the first place. So, so far I'm liking that. And then also kind of random, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you would know that I have used the native deodorant for, I mean, it's been probably five years now and I love it because it's aluminum free, it's paraben free, it's really natural and it's really effective for a natural deodorant. However, I had some kind of a weird, I don't even know, it may not have even been the deodorant. I don't think it was because I've been using that deodorant for so long, but I had some kind of a weird rash and I thought I should switch deodorant and just to see, and it, you know, it cleared up. So I really don't think it was the, de the deodorant, but I was trying this one in the meantime, cause I used it years ago. This is actually the first natural deodorant I had ever used. And I don't really know why I stopped using it because I love it. I love the native deodorants. I think they're amazing but I love this too. And I love that when I put this on, it's actually a little bit cooling. So it feels really good going on. And I noticed that, um, I don't know, it's just, there's something about this in particular that I really enjoy. So I'm not saying I'm not going to go back to native. Um, but I definitely am really enjoying this as well. And it was a part of a two pack. It's kind of pricey, but so is native. I think they're around 11, $12 a piece. So it is kind of expensive for deodorant, but I think it's important because deodorant is something you wear every single day. And you really don't want put you know to be putting aluminum and parabens and all that stuff in your body anyway, but especially so close to you know tender tissue as a woman. I'm not going to say the word because I don't want YouTube to think I'm saying stuff I shouldn't. But um, I would really highly recommend either the native deodorant um, or this. So, so I will see you guys tomorrow when the next few things come in. The rest of the Amazon stuff came that I was waiting on to show you, and I've got some good stuff. So this big stack of books right here is actually if you watched i think it was my march amazon haul i showed you this book that i said i was getting to read to my youngest daughter over the summer not that i don't read to her anyway but just something that's fun and kind of summer themed to read over the summer we love this book and i let me tell you i'm not really a reader i say as i have a book here like i'll read devotionals and stuff like that but i don't read fiction chapter books that type of stuff so when I started reading this to her, I was instantly entertained, which it takes a lot for me to get entertained with a book from the very beginning. So I wanted to get her the entire series. So these are all the books in the series written by Stephen K. Smith. All of them are based on Virginia, like just they happen in Virginia. Um, so it's just really interesting. They're really engaging from the very beginning. I would say probably fourth grade and beyond would be able to read that. So there is, I think 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So there's 11 books in this series. So I'm really excited to have these that I'll be reading to her. Um, and then, you know, if she decides to go back later and read them on her own, she can, she does that sometimes. Um, but they're really, really good. I highly recommend these. You have another book. This is actually not a devotional. It's actually, um, a book but I do have some devotionals by Sally Clarkson and I love everything that she does. And I saw my friend Ashley on Instagram, Ashley Lancaster talked about, or she showed a page from this book and I loved it. And it was just typical Sally Clarkson. I mean, she just boils everything down right to the nitty gritty. Like she is just so good at honing in on biblical truth and using the Bible and God's word to guide our lives. And so I thought it looked just by the one picture that she showed, I don't even know what page it's on. I just literally got this in the mail like two seconds ago. Um, but just the one page that she showed was good enough to make me buy the entire book. So I got that. I am working on reading through the Bible. I'm also working on reading that mom mindset book that I showed you in the last clip. So I don't know that other book, the mindset book is pretty short. I may wait till I finish that to start this, but I'm really excited to start that. And then also I picked up the Ever After Blu-ray. I used to watch this all the time when I was younger. I'm not sure what year it came out. Let me see. Yeah, 1998. So I was at least I'm 18 when it came out, but it's Drew Barrymore and it's basically a retelling of Cinderella, which I know everybody and their mom has remade Cinderella at some point. But this is actually a really good version and uh, Angelica Houston's in it. So she's really good and it's good. So the only thing I will say about this, when I watched it, it was on TV and there was not any language, but I did watch this with my oldest daughter last year. And there are a couple of words, um, curse words. They're not like the really bad ones, but they're still, you know, curse words. And so I would definitely, you probably want to pre-screen this before you watch it with any younger kids. If you want to write down the timestamp, you could mute it. Or if you don't care, then that's fine, I guess. But um, it's 
a really good movie and I like it. So I got that to have, and it was like $4 to rent online or $6 to buy the Blu-ray. So I was like, well, I'll just buy it. Okay. In this pink little book, I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to change my way of doing things. I've told you guys before, I make my to-do list every single day for the next day and I make it on my computer, which I like to do because I type really fast and it's really easy for me to cut and paste and move things around. But the bad thing about that is I have to have access to a computer, whether it be my desktop or my laptop, to be able to make my to-do list. And so I feel like it, it forces me to spend more time in my office than I would need to, which is not in the center of the house. I mean, unless my youngest is in there doing school, I have to kind of be off in there by myself or I have to bring a computer in with me to the living room or wherever to make my list. So I have tried to handwrite my to-do list before and it's never worked because I have a lot of balls in the air at once. I have a lot of things that are current projects, a lot of things that are um, near future and you know longer term projects and things like that that I'm trying to keep track of, but I'm trying really hard to revamp the way I do things. I may fail, but I thought I would try. So I bought this notebook because this would be for my daily to-do list. I will have another spiral or notebook that has my running list of things to do on a daily, weekly, monthly, seasonal basis in various categories. This will be actually where the daily things go. So I like that it's not dated. So you have a place for the year and you can circle the month and the day. I like that there is a section here, which I will probably use for tasks that I do every single day without fail. So laundry, exercise, blah, blah, blah. And then this will be different stuff or vice versa. I don't really know. I haven't figured it out yet because I did just get it. But I'm excited to try because I really do want to try to force myself to find ways to go back to using paper and pencil and not using my computer. I definitely don't want to use my phone. I know there's lots of apps and stuff you can get on your iPhone that will help you make to-do lists, but I don't want to do that. The whole point of this is to get away from using a computer or a screen. Um, so this is my attempt at that. So those are the things that I got in the month of April on Amazon. It wasn't as much as last month. If you want to see last month, I think I had over 25 items. Definitely check out March, and I did one in February as well. I probably won't do one in May because we're going to be on vacation, and for you know two weeks out of the month, I won't be home or shopping online. So Probably won't have one in May, um, but we'll see how it looks for June. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up that I wanted to share with you guys for the month of April. Lots of great things. I will link everything that I showed you in the description box below. If you like these Amazon monthly haul videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me in the comment. Leave me a thumbs up or, you know, just tell me in the comments that you like it and you want to see more so that I know to continue to make them for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.